woke up this morning stressed out. And there's just a lot of prep that goes to Coachella because it's literally like the influencer Olympics. You're gonna watch me glow up in this video. I have been adding to my Coachella 2022 fitness board. I cannot believe I said this so funny, like genuinely. Oh my working god. Dude. You know it would look perfect. I can't wear that. I bought these two things. Okay. Do I look a little crazy? No, Valentina has some like that. Oh, I look like him. Yeah. morning stressed out because this motherfucking week is Coachella! I have visitors from my hometown coming and I need to clean and I have to film and I have so many like random sponsored things and if I want to be taken seriously as a revolve girl I need to get my outfits together and there's just a lot of prep that goes into Coachella because it's literally like the influencer Olympics the influencer Super Bowl our big playoff game it's not even the playoff game it's literally the Super Bowl like Final two, March Madness, like who's gonna win? And I have to say, I am very stressed out, but I weirdly like being stressed out. I like being in this... There's a plane, hold her plane. Sorry, I know I look god awful right now. It's just, you know, it's the Coachella vibes. You're gonna watch me glow up in this video. Basically, I need to figure out what the fork I'm wearing each day because I have ideas. And then I need to figure out like, not only the outfit, but the accessories and my hair and makeup because guess forking what? I'm getting my hair and makeup done this year. <laughs> On the real though, Hard work pays off. Dead ass, it's because you guys watch my videos. We've worked hard this year and I've saved up for Coachella and I'm getting motherfucking glam. But I genuinely want to, like getting my hair and makeup done is not a common thing for me. I'm literally out of breath. <gasps> I was like, you know what? Treat yourself to the Super Bowl of the influencer world, okay? I need to tell my amazing hair gal, Amanda, what like styles I wanna do. So I'm gonna try a bunch today on myself. I just got my extensions like redone and I got my hair colored. What glam I wanna do, do I wanna do like Euphoria crystals? Do I wanna do like fun colors? I don't know. I need to figure it, the fork out literally today because what if I need to order something else and it needs to get here by Thursday because I'm leaving Thursday morning for Palm Springs. So anyway, that's the forking vibe. Okay, watch me glow up in literally 30 seconds. final makeup look. Now time for hair. I have been adding to my Coachella 2022 Pinterest board, which we will run through, of course, all the info, everything I'm thinking. A big part of Coachella that I feel like people don't realize because everyone's like outfits, outfits, outfits is the hair and makeup, like the glam of it all because like you can do really fun stuff that you wouldn't normally do and I never in a million years would probably do. I feel like this year it's gonna be very like euphoria-esque, lots of gems, lots of even gems in the hair. I saw this and I was like, that could be really cool. Like, gems all over the hair, which I'm not going to practice on today just because I feel like there's no reason to put glue in my hair. I also love this. Remember when you were little and you could get these like sparkly extensions in your hair? I also kind of want to do some type of like ponytail mohawk thing. I thought about doing a moment like this where it's kind of like flat and then wearing like a headband, even like an RE ponytail. That could be cute. I also want to do some fun shit with like safety pins. So I do have a safety pin like outfit. What I'm going to try right now is to have like this straight and then the back of the straight but I'm gonna pin this front part down. I'm gonna be using this new tool that I just got from Foxy Bay and I'm so excited because y'all know I love my Foxy Bay straightener that I use all the time and I, I swear by that straightener like it's so cool and y'all know I love to do like a little curl at the ends but this is their new and improved tool. It's the two-in-one hair flow flat iron and I'm so freaking excited because it's literally meant for you to be able to curl and straighten your hair. We're gonna need to just use a little dirty gal dry shampoo from Boxy Bay. Oh, not me spraying it literally on my face. Also, I'm gonna be using some heat protectant. It's the Cool AF heat protectant spray. What's cool is, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it has little 
cooling air vents. So it like locks in the style and cools it down after it has so much heat on it, which we live, laugh, love that. One of these clippy guys. I love these Foxy Bay clips because they're big and they actually like hold my hair well. I, I can't decide if I want to do the stick straight or do a little curl then. We'll try both. Okay, I like the curl bend. It feels like it's just way better for my hair. Cute. Like it's just naturally curled instead of having that crease. That's adorable. I'm pretty sure this has five different heat settings on it. So if you like really want to get it hot and do it really quickly, this is just so easy. I love it. I'll definitely be taking this to the desert with me to do touch ups on myself. I got a bunch of my bobby pins and like little clear daddies. I like it with like it more purposeful like that. Oh, you know what they do? They normally take this and then they'll do like a ponytail down underneath. Yes, okay, we're getting somewhere. Thank God I'm not doing my own hair. Like I would be way more stressed out. Cute. <gasps> okay, this is cute. Sort of giving, but like I need it to be more dramatic, but do you know what I mean? What do we think? At least I have an idea of what that'll look like. I feel like, let me try and curl it a little now. I'm gonna try this space bun look because I always see young girls and I'm like, would it look good on me for Coachella? Obviously she would cover my extension. Oh, that's so cute. I feel like this is so basic, but like, I don't care. It's cute for a reason. I'm trying to curl this now. What the heck? It's actually really good. Also, one of my favorite things about Foxy Bay tools is that they automatically shut off. So you don't have that post did I leave my straightener on? Did I leave my curling iron on? Anxiety when you're at the bar. Let's try the wand because I feel like I want the curls a little tighter for this. I'm using like the middle sized one and then there's also this like tinier one if you want tighter curls. And these rose gold infused titanium barrels are literal magic. They're really good, especially if you have like thick, coarse hair and it's like hard to control. We're definitely getting to the uh, thicker pieces of my hair. So I'm going to put in this new barrel. It's a little thicker. It's so easy to take these off and put them back on. This is the final look. I know it's not perfect, but I feel like this is fun and sporty. It's like giving sporty spice, obviously. We would cover up the extensions, make the buns a little bit more like ears. <laughs> I love like this curl. It's like a little bit tighter and it looks almost like a wave, like a beachy wave in a way. By the way, if any of y'all are interested in purchasing anything from Foxy Bay, I'm definitely going to be putting the link down below so you can check it out. I think this is the best stuff for festival season and just summer is have something super easy like this. I'm a huge fan of this two in one daddy. Yeah, thank you so much to Foxy Bay for sponsoring. Now, let me show you the rest of my fits. This is currently what we are twerking with. These are like my final picks for weekend one, days one, two, and three. These are all the maybes and they have a good chance of making it to the, um, making it to Matt, if you will, if we're talking Navarro share, okay? First things first, this is one of the first things I bought. It's from For Love and Lemons. It's so forking cute. Like it looks so good on me and it's such a good option. It's like this leotard dress and it has the see-through, but it's not like too like thongy. I don't know how the baddies do it. Like how do they? sit on the grass with their bare ass. This snatches me. So this is a really good option. I also made an order from this store called Manière de, de Voir. I got these. They're like these long ass overall things. I thought it could be cute with like this, like hanging down. And y'all know I'm like a hoe for a romper and a jumpsuit moment. This is like a bikini top underneath, I think could be really hot. Then I was like, well, I want color. Let me go look at my closet. I forgot I had, I thrifted this a couple years ago with Alicia and it's this cherry dress, which I thought could be so cute if I want to do really girly and take this scarf and wear it as like a headband. To really visualize the entire look. This I got as an Instagram ad. I mean, I just love it. Personally, I love it. If I'm being honest, I just love it. I think the next thing I ordered were these bad boys, which I showed you. I'm gonna cut to the clips when I got these right now. Okay, I'm gonna show you it. I cannot believe I spent this much money, like genuinely. Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? Do you know what this is? Oh my forking God. You're so forking cute. And then I got a matching bucket hat and I thought this together would be a forking vibe, like a fit. I mean, I die. I mean, I die. 
I mean, I died. This is the, what I've been visualizing this whole Coachella. I don't know why I've been obsessed with Burberry and Ralph Lauren lately. I've always been obsessed, but I feel like, I don't know, they're just like OG respected. Like this is like the Reese Witherspoon of designers. Like just like effortlessly classy and cool. These are so bloody expensive, but worth it. My next purchase I think were these bad boys. This cute little like suspender type skirt thing from Diesel. So cute. Then this is what, this is where I was like, I think I have to, and I think I'm going over budget here, but work hard, play hard. You know what I mean? Found this on the same website. I nearly screamed and fainted and threw up when I saw it. Versace. Vintage baby. Versace jeans couture. I think this actually is like their, you know how like Marc Jacobs has like Mark by Marc Jacobs? It's like the cheaper version. I think this is might be their cheaper version of Versace, but I don't really give a shit cheaper for me. I love the gold hardware. I just feel like this is so me. I love the gold. It fits me like a glove. And then I thought it could be really cool with like this open and like my tits out. I don't know. I'm still deciding whether I want to wear this stagecoach or Coachella. So Alicia, I sent it to her and I was like, dude. And she was like, Taylor, she sent me an audio message. She was like, Taylor, mother forking king. When I tell you, you need that. I was like, you're right. You're right. Next thing I purchased was this with jeans set that I showed you on my little haul once I received it. I want to, I want to get my reaction on camera. I ordered it from with jean and the top that I originally wanted from there, they ha didn't have my size. Like, it's so not forking adorable. I'm forking obsessed, I'm forking obsessed. It doesn't really fit me that well, but I'll show you. Let me call my friend Callie. Top of the morning. I just got my with jean stuff. You did? Yeah, I want to show you it. I got this set and I forking love it. But the top, my tits are too big. Dude, I love it. Dude, isn't it so cute? Like, it genuinely fits me like a glove because my fucking tits. Oh. Love it. It just, I ordered a bigger size. This is the medium top. And I ended up ordering the large so that my tits fit a little bit better. And I am going to try and get the sleeves cut off of the large so that I can be like not as sweaty because we are quite literally going to be in the desert. I'll save the best for last. Miley Mother Forking Cyrus wore this and I stalked her stylist and I found it. And it is a bodysuit and I'm 100 P wearing this. I mean, I just love it. So I'm thinking like this, Burberry, and then what's the third outfit? Comment down below what you think it should be because you guys literally might change my mind because I think I'm gonna upload this before I actually go to the festival. <sighs> All right, y'all. I just got to Alicia's house. Miss Remy Ashton picked me up these sunglasses because she was going to Sunglass Hut anyway. And I believe her mom works there, right? Yeah. So we got a discount and I wanted these Oakley daddies to wear with, I think the Miley Cyrus fit that I'm going for. So I'm gonna try them on. They were like a hundred and I wanna say $25 with the discount. Expensive, but like, I feel like with a good pair of sunglasses, no, her discount's 50% off. Did you know that? So yeah. these would have been like 300? Yeah. Oh my god. I would not have not bought them if they were $300. Oh, these are sick. I love them. No, I tried them on this morning. <laughs> you did? I look cool. Okay. Do I look, I look a little crazy on No, it, Balenciaga has some like that. Oh, I look like Kim. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're basically Kim Kardashian. This is my struggle. You know the with jeans set that I bought? bought? Yes. And I know you don't like that one. You the love best. it. I know. I fucking love it. And I know you don't. Listen. Just listen. Okay, to I'm, listening, I'm listening. I'm listening. Okay. I mean, as long as you love it. The denim one that I love, I'm like. I'm not as crazy about the denim one. I know. I know. Wait. I thought it snapped. I thought you loved it. I do, but it's going to be so hot. Also, the cowgirl boots that I bought from Anthropology, they got back ordered. So then I had to buy new ones. And I'm like, will they get here in you time? You should go to the free people right here and see if they have them in stock. I ordered a new pair. Express shipped them. Canceled my Anthropology mm. order. It's just annoying. Like. The outfit's yeah. annoying me. I just can't. The outfit is just annoying. Then, can I be honest? The outfit's annoying me. <laughs> I like have that with Jean outfit ready, right? Dixie just wore it to the Kids Choice Awards, but she has the vest. I'm like, is that over? Because I think it's just but like, it's I will. I will be honest though. It, it'll look very different. I know. Doesn't look good on her. Yeah. But it, I will style it way different. I feel like it's totally fine because like you're like, it's like, that's for an, an award show. What, when, what made me feel cool is I was like, okay, her stylist put her in the, that's yeah. a cool set. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just think this is Revolve Girl, huh? No. Yeah. I, no. Yes. I. Hanger. <laughs> Anytime I say I like your outfit that day, you're like, you hate it. I know. Here, follow me in my closet. This is the best about sharing, like, Coachella's. You can share cl closets and, like, fun stuff. I also have these, which I do not wear. <gasps> oh. If you get them, Wait, where'd you get those? I had these for Halloween. 
Oh. They're just Steve Madden. Are you going to take them? No, oh. I don't think I'm going to wear them. Can I, can I yeah, take yeah. them? So Fork yes, thank you. You can also you. take a photo in your naked wolves, and if you don't want to get them ruined, just Yeah, them. oh, period. I mean, so fun to shop dogs. in here. It's they're okay. Just, they're not broken in. I'm not like, going to wear them. They will hurt your Dogs are not my vibe. Why? I don't know. I don't really like them. Why? I just don't like them. I don't know. You know it would look perfect. I can't wear that. That's too expensive. She Aren't people going to get stuff out of my bag? Um, just don't put anything that important. Like, don't put your phone, put anything really important here. And then whenever I have a backpack at festivals, honestly, when I'm watching the set, I'll like put it to the front. It's so forking cute. <laughs> <laughs> the IU fanny. This could also be sick for your Miley. <gasps> Can I wear that? Yeah. You'd let me? This is some like, this is some. You love the BDSM. I do. Schoolish is kinky. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just love it. I want to be the perfect level of like cool girl meets like still doesn't like doesn't scare straight men. So Miley one, what do you think? Burberry two? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Why? Uh. I don't know. It's a few. I think I have a better idea of I what I want to do. I just have spray tan Wednesday, nails tomorrow. <laughs> Nobu Friday. Jack Harlow, Saturday. Actually. Carbone, Sunday. Good morning, guys. It is Tuesday before Coachella. I am packing a quick little bag of stuff for in case I get blisters. I'm constantly getting blisters. It's just like literally a personality trait of mine. I kind of wanted to see what all I had because I'm going to run my CVS because I need like tampons and I want to get like some emergency like stuff just to have at the house so I'm not dying when I'm there. I just started my period this morning so for my life. The good thing about this is that at least I'm starting it now, Tuesday, which means today and tomorrow will probably be the worst days. It's also like, why am I breaking out so bad? It's because my period, everything makes sense now. Welcome to my quick CVS haul. Tampons, Avi, Dove deodorant because I like to have the spray deodorant when I'm like at a festival. Communal Advil for our entire house. More tampons because I'm like dead out. Little kind bars just in case I want something really quick and easy on the go. Got these little vitamin C gummies. I always get those for Coachella. Then I got some makeup remover, wipes, breath savers to like throw in my bag and just want to make out with a random dude. Got some gum. Got a few more of the hydro seal blister guys some luna bars because i love these lemon ones i tried to get alcohol but apparently you can't do that before 10 a.m hey guys so i'm actually headed to get my with jean top tailored i'm gonna get the sleeves taken off hopefully they can do it if not i'll work around it because i have that other versace outfit that i might wear but i really want to wear the with jean one for some reason i just like like it the way it looks on me and I feel in it. Um, it's like hitting me that this is happening this weekend. And I am so forking excited and happy and grateful and proud of myself for being able to bring Phil and Sapal. Like this is like literally my dream. I would have died to be able to do this like last year, the year before. To me, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I I'm trying to figure out the logistics. So I haven't had a moment to stop and really think like how excited and proud I am and like grateful that I'm able to like bring my people. I just have always dreamed about being able to like have a plus one and bring them. And I always knew I'd bring my brother, but I didn't know like who else it would be. And I'm actually really glad that I'm bringing Sapal because he has been like one of my like, like lifelong family friends and he's always been so kind so grateful so respectful towards me i know he'll be a good time like the best plus ones are the ones that like i know if i have to do my thing he won't care he'll be so happy regardless just happy to be here type of people okay so bad news melt and motherfucker apparently they can't cut it off in time so anyway i think i am going to use a different tailor or maybe i'll just have to suffer and not lift my arms up all my little fashion school friends like i'm sure i can find someone to cut off the sleeves i still have high hopes pray for me though i really should not have waited to the last minute to do this hey y'all 
Y'all send me a bunch of nail designs, so we're gonna go through them. Here's the thing, with Coachella, I need them to be spicy, but also I have three different outfits that are like three different colors. What color do I go with? Oh my God, these are sick. Like this chrome, but I'm like, does this look like I have weird shit on my nails? I mean, these are cool, but I'm like, these are very like TK. These are really popular right now, and I just don't get it. Like, I don't love the dots. Oh, these are sick. <gasps> it's like chrome tips. I really like the chrome. I'm saving those. <gasps> Someone sent me these. But they're a different version of the chrome. Is this a sign I need to get chrome? <gasps> Why am I so obsessed with the chrome? This girl went off. Look at her inspo. I love the chrome. We have got to stay hydrated for Coachella. I've been trying to drink at least two of these a day. It's like bigger than my head. Perla's on her way. I always put a few pillows on top of the couch because this is so low to the ground. I like can't reach the nail thing. That's why I do this. Perla is here and we have the design. I have decided to go with the chrome tips. Light pink, hot pink. Whoa, this is crazy. <laughs> so that's how you do it? Yeah, you just rub it in into the nail itself. Oh my God, amazing. This Look at you, Perla. Teal. Okay, love the teal, love the pink. Love that blue the too. Blue. That's so pretty. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, silver, okay. Then and the gold is gold. gold. Oh my God, this is so hard. So your signature red. Red, love that. I also have a holographic one where you could put it over any color or you could just do it by We're swatching the colors. Blue is really pretty. Yeah. Oh, I like that pink better. That one? The cooler tone. And of course yeah. your signature TK red. <laughs> I'm so stressed. We gotta show them this photo. So the multicolored iridescent one, chrome one, is going to look like this. Like, yeah. what? So do I do that over all the different colors, or do I do the colored chrome? What do I do, Perla? These are all the gems. Holy shit, you have like every color. <laughs> Again, if you wanna do just the holographic ones, we, we could, could put the colors. Color gems. Smart. Should we just send it? The holographic? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do it. These are my nails. I wanted to show you them. They're so forking cute. My inspo was unicorn poo. They're just a lot and I like them. They're fun. It's for Coachella. It's like, this is the most fun nails you can get ever. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, I swear to you in the light, they sparkle so much and I love the way they turned out. They're just so funky and fun. See how they have like rainbow in them? We went with the iridescent chrome and then added gems that are the exact color of the chrome. So sick. Okay guys, this. <laughs> It's currently what we're twerking with. I'm trying to decide what belt or bag I'm going to wear with this outfit. This is the Miley Cyrus outfit that I stole from her stylist. She wore it to Lollapalooza Columbia. I'm currently wearing Alicia Steve Madden boots. I love the Oakleys. I feel like it's such a vibe. And honestly, I feel like this thing like Loki snatches me. It feels really good and is really comfy. I did get nipple covers, but I don't even know if I'll wear them. I'm not wearing any underwear right now. Like we are going to free ball. Alicia gave me a bunch of accessories to like try out with and I I feel like this belt from Gucci is sick, but it's a high-waisted belt, so like it fits me like this really well, because that's where it's supposed to land, but not how I want it, like right here. Do I do a keychain to lock that in? She also gave me this Alix. Okay, how the fork do I get this on? Ow, oh my God, fuck, ow. <laughs> I've got to have this on wrong, I think. Okay, this is how the like a leaks harness is. And it's like cool, but honestly, I don't love it. I feel like it takes away from like what the, the jumpsuit or the bodysuit is doing. This is a vintage Juicy Couture belt. It was my mom's. And like, it's sick. I just feel like the gold, this is more of a silver fit. Let's try and DIY this to be low rise. Okay, I just took these off my keys. So I'm wondering if we can attach it to this and through one of these holes. Oh my God. I literally did it, you guys. This is the little part I added. This is a literal keychain that I attached to this 
to go into one of the loopholes because otherwise I'd have to bring it all the way back here. Like, why does it look so good? Tell me you went to fashion school without telling me you went to fashion school. Okay, we're putting together Burberry. I'm trying to decide if I want to do no sock or this really thick sock. God is kind of saying no sock. I got this bag. It took me forever to buy it because y'all know I'm not an impulsive shopper. This is my second designer bag I've ever purchased. I've always wanted a Burberry bag. I was debating between this one and a more sporty one, but I liked how classic this looked. Ah, I feel like this is gonna be so cute. Okay. It's really big. I think that almost looks better if I wear it like as a backpack. Is the hat just way too much? I feel like I don't like the hat. Or is it a forking vibe? Like, is it a saf Burberry Safari? The hat definitely looks better with the bag not in the front. I'm not going to lie, I really don't love the hat. I almost feel like I'd rather do like a high pony or something cool with my hair. And then it gives more room for this to have its on it. I don't fork you now. At least I have this as an option. I think it might be my least favorite outfit, so I might wear this Sunday. We'll see. Hi, Ollie. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Ollie and I are going to get our Revolve Fest and Neon Carnival tickets. We're on our way. We're in Beautiful Mio. average is getting their wristbands. <laughs> Period. The last time Coachella happened, TikTok literally didn't exist. Like there was no such thing the as like was TikTokers. So too. TikTok. I'm just curious like what the YouTubers will be wearing versus the TikTokers versus the celebrities. This this year Ooh. because there's no like trend prediction of what people are gonna wear this year yeah yeah so yeah. i'm like is it just gonna be a, like a clusterfuck i think the celebs are gonna go full-blown casual cello right jean shorts right t-shirt with like a crazy pair of sunglasses yes you know what i mean like casual vibes i'm predicting a lot of streetwear i feel like people don't really know where the trends are going so people usually stick to streetwear to be safe i'm also predicting a lot of like cutouts, a lot of body showing, yes. and I'm predicting- Very ASOS, very dull skill. Uh, and I'm predicting a lot of euphoria, like Ooh, everything. like glitter. Yeah, makeup, jazz. Ass. Yeah, <laughs> ass. So oh. yeah, we're headed to Revolve Social Club, which is like their little Soho house thing. No, literally uh, rich. Yeah, like country club, Iconic. Brentwood, mom, country club, energy. <laughs> Guys, what the fork? I just landed this insane parking spot. In front of her wall. Like, what the fuck? Manifestation day. <laughs> Yay! Wristband pickup. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, I almost got there. Oh, that's cute, right? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's cute. Carnival tickets and normally no, in a little back alley. I'm we're scared. in an alley. Normally we pick them up at Warwick, which is a club in LA, but for some reason it is in an alleyway. Pray for us. Sketchy vibes only. <laughs> oh hey. Hi. Oh hey. Hi. Hi. Good. How are you? I love you. Let me see your nails. You. I love my little thumb smileys. Every time I text, I'm like, oh, so dude, cute. you look so good in the light right now. It's giving. Getting that good, good greens in before the festival, baby. I got a spray tan. I don't know if you guys can tell. That's my tan line. And now it's time to pack. It's currently 10 o'clock and I'm just now packing for Coachella. It's the day before, I'm leaving tomorrow morning. So pray for me. I just got my packages and my mother porking cowgirl boots came in time. Oh my God, they're so cute. I shouldn't be screaming that loud at this hour, but like, shut the fuck up. I mean, come on. Okay, should we try them? Oh my God, oh my God, they're comfortable. Oh my God, they smell so good. Oh, these are cute as fork. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? Hey y'all, it's currently midnight, the night before Coachella, and I did indeed get one of my Revolve packages today, and then I think I'm gonna need the other one tomorrow morning. So pray for me because I think there's like two or three tops that I might actually be wearing the festival, and the rest I'm probably gonna be wearing to Revolve Fest. First outfit, 
I'm obsessed with. It's these cutie little shorts, and they're kind of like, almost feel like pajama shorts, but they're like silk, really nice. It's from the brand Tell Your Friends. It came in amazing, like nice packaging, and I just love the print. I feel, feel like it's so fun. It comes with a button down. It's so cute. It's like basically like a matching pajama set, but like elevated, and next thing that I got is this cutie little dress from Superdown. I am obsessed with Superdown. I think it's my favorite brand from Revolve. Like by a landslide, super down. I think it's just the most affordable and like trendy. I mean, come on. I thought it would be so flattering and the fabric is like really thick and almost like stretchy thick, which is really nice. This is such a good dress. Everyone needs this dress. I'm gonna link all this stuff below, so check it out. Then I got a few swimsuits. This one is my favorite because I just love like a sporty spice moment. I mean, come on, it's gorgeous. I already tried it on and it fits me like a glove, so I cannot wait. I just feel like this is like the sporty spice girl of the friend group and I love it. I can't wait to be playing pickleball all weekend in this. By the way, this is from the brand Lovers and Friends. Speaking of swimsuits and Lovers and Friends, I got another one. I mean, is this not like screaming my name? Such nice fabric. This is like a really nice one piece. Like you can tell by the quality. It has adjustable straps. The back has this cutie little lace up. Then to wrap up our little swimsuit journey, I got this little bikini bottom from Lovers and Friends. I love this blue. I'm not gonna lie, I did try this on and it is a little small for my boobs. So if you have bigger boobs, I definitely recommend sizing up. I got a medium, but I wish I would've gotten a large top. I just love the color so much. I might just exchange the size of the top. Okay, and then this is like my funky part of the selection of clothes that I picked out. I mean, how? Forking cool, they're literal pearls. It looks like under the sea, like it's giving Little Mermaid. Swimsuit underneath this, like that, would look so forking cute. It comes with a matching sarong, and I just, I die. This is from Tula Rosa, which I love Tula Rosa. I feel like their stuff fits me so well. And then lastly, I got this incredible little House of Harlow quarter zip, kind of like sweatshirt material. This is just giving country club girl summer. Like this girl is a member at a country club. This is so versatile. And especially in Palm Springs, I feel like I can like vacation the house down boots this up. I'm so excited to wear all this stuff to Revolve Festival all weekend long and chill by the pool in my new community. Making moves, making moves, making moves.